kunipa nafasi hii kijana ambaye ni kijana mdogo wa sifuna naanza kwa mada hivi na kusema watu wa mlima leo umefanya kitu mzuri japo umejafanya vile ilikuwa inatakana pale mali tulikuwa tunataka tuone mawe rungu watu wakikimbia tia gasi kwa kwa wingi sisi tunatoa ushuru tia gasi tembee mtu akimbia hatutaki atumtambui nyinyi kama watu wa mlima Kenya ambao mlipiga asilimia mia moja mmeanza kumkimbisha si akuje mahali penye kupigiwa kura tuone kama ataenda siogopi kukuambia ukweli kitu kingine umesema wewe ndio mwanaume na utakontrol hii serikali kwa sababu madha alikupatia na amekugeuka amekuona vile unafanya wewe juzi ulikuwa umeongea na eh eti mtu wao asiende kotini kwenda kuapil ukamfungia hadi ukaweka GSC wanangoja mimi ninauliza wananchi kama naibu wa rais anayekewa GSU haezi ingia wewe utaenda wapi kweli Hauzi allowance hauzi levy kama unataka kujenga mwana Mr. Ruto chukua ndindi nyoro chukua kajagwa na we mwenyewe kajagwa akikoroga wewe unamwaga unakoroga ndindi nyoro anatengeneza anaweka mawe unasikia ujenge nyumba yako uishi sababu ninyi hamuna manyumba nimamalizia hapo hivyo asante sana Mr. Speaker sir for the opportunity I am the head of Bunge Political Affairs and Analysis Kenya. I'm Mr. Wiri. I want to address William Samuel Ruto because hapo ndio shida iko. Eh uh, William Samuel Ruto, I want to state it here clearly that Ruto is not my president. Ruto, you are not my president and you are not supposed to deduct my salary whatsoever. So our courts today have made what is called a pronouncement that Ruto should not be allowed anywhere near my salary. So William Samoy Ruto, uh, if you cannot go home tomorrow, kindly go today. Because uh, we did not vote for you. You invaded our state house. Ruto invaded our state house. Then after invading our state house, Ruto unfortunately, instead of working, Ruto has turned to be a comedian in this country. Ruto is a comedian. Just like Chechil show. Nothing special in this country. So I want to tell William Samoy Ruto that I will never be arrested if the president himself is not following the law. He is in Asia. So long as Ruto remains the president. Hapa kuna inchi. And I want to warn William Samoy Ruto. There are two things Ruto, Ruto has done that I will not let it go. I will never forgive William Ruto for, for, for the two things. One thing. Wewe, you have failed to create jobs in this country. So the people who have created jobs, you are following people in the private sector to, to, to deduct their salary. Unforgivable. Another mistake Ruto has made, making Raila Molodinga sad. Once Raila is sad, the entire nation is sad. That one is also unforgivable. Raila must be happy. Always. Wewe kama common mwananchi lazima uhakikishe penye uko that Raila is happy. It is your responsibility as a citizen to ensure that Raila Molodinga must be happy always. This is why I'm warning the Jalango 7. Jalango 7. We don't want to know what you have done. What matters at this point is how you relate with Raila Moloding. Don't tell us at umejenga kanisa siju umejenga nini. Peleka kule huko kucho 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 kucho. Tunataka kujua. Kucho huko. We want to know how you relate with Raila Moloding? Raila must be happy always. That's why we are saying, Mr. Speaker, in 2027, it is nothing less. Nothing less. 2027 is Raila's best chance. Kama wewe ujamini hiyo.
Aya. In 2027, in 2027, Mr. Speaker, we, the supporters of Raila Molodinga, we believe that is Raila's best chance. If you don't believe you are not a Kenyan, we are not a Kenyan. We are taking you home, and Ruto should not even be given even a minute, Mr. Speaker, to be our president. Kenya is bleeding, Kenya is Asia. Goodbye, William Samuel Ruto. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think